lot more about how 19-year-old Kiara Ely was shot and killed in Calhoun yesterday. Bria Jones talks to a man who says the two teenagers charged in her death ran to him for help even as she was bleeding out. It's an interview that you'll only see on Fox 14 News. I wore a little girl's blood all over me yesterday. That would stick with anybody. Randy Yossett is traumatized, a Vietnam veteran suffering from PTSD. He says Wednesday's shooting shook him to the core. I come outside, and one boy's got the girl in his arm, not try, trying to get, him, get her in the car to take her to the hospital. Of course, I looked at her, I knew she was dead. Washington Parish deputies say 19-year-old Kiara Ali was shot to death in Calhoun. 18-year-olds Christopher Flores and Gavin Carty have been charged in connection to her murder. She was bloody. Her whole head was blood. Flores's father told detectives his son became mad when Ali tried to hide his gun. That's when he says Flores took the gun and pointed it at her head. He told investigators he heard two clicks before the gun went off. That's when Yossit says they came to him for help. What did they say? What to do? We don't know what to do. And but and we told them don't run. According to the arrest warrant, Cardi lied and told deputies Ali tried to shoot Flores first. A second witness went along with the story, but later told detectives she lied out of fear. Yasid says while he doesn't know what happened, he doesn't believe Flores tried to kill Ali. All I know is he thought evidently thought the gun was empty. But you don't play with guns. Reporting, Bria Jones, Fox 14 News. Flores is charged with second-degree murder, and both teens are charged with obstruction of justice. 